Hello students. So now I'm here again with another grammar lesson. Again, most confusing words. How to use, where to use, what to use. All these questions come when we have two words in and into. Whenever we are to use, we are to write some sentence, we get confused whether we should use the word in or it should be into. Because many times many people feel that in and into, these two words are interchangeable. Means any word you can put, but it's not. Because these two words are two different words having different meaning. Let's see now in what way they are different. When we talk about in, actually in expresses a state or we can say in expresses a resting state. Okay, means when something is all, already within, it's already at a resting place. It's not moving. Then only we use the word in. And when we are to use the word into, what we are to keep in mind that into would express motion. Okay. It's not in a resting state. Rather, it will express motion. Means when something comes from outside to inside. Okay. So motion is shown. That is into. Okay. Now how to remember this? In means something standing somewhere in resting. But into, this way you imagine. Into means something walking. Okay? Because this is into. This is not in. This is into. This way you remember. Into means motion. Okay? When something comes from outside to the inside. Now, with these few examples I tell. Sentence is, now we are to use these two words. And I am using these two words in one single sentence so that the difference is clear to you. We will try to understand in and into these two words with the help of example. The neighbors came into my house. So this is into. Came into means walking. It means motion. Okay. The neighbors came into my house to see what's going on in the house. So what's going on in the house means whatever is going on, going on already. So it's not happening now. Okay. It's not that this is showing motion. So that's why in the house means whatever is happening, it's already in the house. So that's why the neighbors came into my house to see what's going on in the house. Another sentence, there is only one college, good college, in the city, stationary, okay, college is already there, situated there, okay, so there is only one good college in the city and I want to take admission into it, you will be going to take the admission, so this expresses motion, when you will be going to take admission. So that's why I want to take admission into it. Though sometimes you may write, I want to take admission in the college and you say, ma'am, nobody ever said this is incorrect. Though maybe sometime we accept it. Okay. Because if we do not go for that grammatical mistakes. Okay. So we accept it in the contextual way. But Grammatically, if you are to write something and this is part of grammar portion, then your marks will be deducted. Then your sentence will be taken as incorrect sentence. Okay. So, there is only one good college in the city because college is stationary, city is stationary in the city and I want to take admission into it. Motion. You have to go to take admission. One more example. I was studying in my room. Okay, in my room. He was already there in the room. He was already sitting in the room. 
I was studying in my room when, okay, when my brother came into the room crying. Now you won't say when my brother came in the room crying. No, because this is showing motion. Okay, this is not stationary. Brother came from outside. This is what we said. When something comes from outside to the inside. Okay, so I was studying in my room when my brother came into the room crying. Now, out of these three examples, you just keep at least one example in your mind, whatever you find easy. Always keep this example in your mind and whenever you get confusion between in and in, into, think about this example and then maybe you will never commit any mistake. I hope you have understood it and I think you have enjoyed it. Thank you.